There are shows in television that make history. Happy Days, for example, was one. Roseanne, another one. And of course, Full House was one of those shows that really changed the television landscape with Danny Tanner in the bunch. And now Fuller House has, is continuing that. And with me is none other than Juan Pablo de Pache, who plays Fernando on Fuller House. Juan Pablo, nice to have you with us. Hello, Carlos. How are you? I'm doing great. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting to me that they cast you in this role because, quite frankly, when you're on screen, you, you own the thing. You absolutely <laughs> own it. Tell me how that all happened for you. Okay. Um, well, it was one of those really awesome situations in life when you uh, find yourself practically at, at, at the end of something about to not give up, but, you know, almost. I mean, I, I had done a few nice roles in the States, and the last one had been Jesus Christ. And, and I remember after that, I did so many auditions for the next, whatever the next project was going to be. And... Um, I didn't get one of those 40 auditions that I did. Wow. And I was starting to get a little like, hmm, am I rubbish? What, what's happening? <laughs> well, you play Jesus. What's next? I mean, what yeah, could right. you possibly do that follows that? <laughs> I know. And so, and so I, was ready to, I was ready to go visit my parents in Spain. I go on my flight. And literally like the minute before I... Well, not the minute, but like a day before I was leaving for Madrid, I get this one last casting and it was for Fuller House. And, you know, next thing we know, I, I got that job. But it was literally like at the 11th hour. Well, and the fans of Fuller House, the fans of Fuller House are so excited because you actually uh, lit a fire under the, the entire cast and you're so good in this, in this thing. And it's on Netflix and, and the, the finale is coming up on June 2nd. And we wanted to make sure let people know that they've got to watch these seasons of Fuller House. I mean, you can binge watch them all. That's the cool thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, June the 2nd, we, we got the last nine episodes, which I'm sure people will have watched in less than three hours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Uh, you're from Argentina. Yeah. Uh, we're speaking you, you, perfectly good English, but when you play Fernando, you do this thing like I do when I want to play, mess around with my family. <laughs> right. you know, somos Mexicanos, and we start speaking this... And, but you really turn on the charm in the in the Latino thing. Oh uh, well, it, you know, I, it was um, it kind of was a spur of the moment because because uh, Jeff Franklin, the creator, was like, well, how how should we approach Fernando? And so we tried him without an accent, with an accent, and they just found it funny or with. So it stayed. It kind of stuck. But we did try. We did try him talking like this and it was just like oh it wasn't yeah. as funny <laughs> so i tried i tried doing the news with an accent it didn't work <laughs> good evening here now the news and yeah, i love when you roll your r's you know it's, it's well, very yeah. very funny well thank you thank you any you, chance i have to to make a you know <laughs> make a fool of myself i will <laughs> now here's the thing uh as a dramatic actor and, and you're you're a singer you're a song you're you're a multiple threat you do everything you, you work on on stage and screen and on television uh, now on Netflix, uh, you, you do it all. Where is your passion, really? And all of it. <laughs> todo, completamente todo. Todo, yeah, I, I can't separate. It's like, it's like having children, you know? If you ask me, what do you love more, acting or singing or, or directing? Or I can't really... I mean, there are different parts of my brain, different parts of my storytelling. I, I see it all as storytelling. It's the mm -hmm. same. Like, it just depends which genre or avenue you're telling a story but it, but um i i love it all and i, I was talking to let me just name drop <laughs> i was talking to dame judy dench one day when i was still a student and wow. i i yeah i i made my way into the rap party of the lion king musical in london the opening night party where she was in and i was an usher at, at the Lion King, <laughs> and I literally, I didn't think I stole a ticket or something like that, but I got into this party, and there she was, you know, my idol, and so I went up to her, and I said, I, I asked her that exact question, it's like, you do everything, like, do you have a favorite, because, you know, you've been on Broadway, and you've done musicals, and movies, and TV, and this and that, what do you prefer, and she just looked at me, and she went, all of it, I love yeah. all of it, I can't choose. And, and, and it's true, it's true. When you, when you have sort of like the, 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 you know, the fortune and also the misfortune of, of, of liking too many things, yeah. when you abandon one, you feel like you're abandoning a child, so. 
Well, you know, you're so good at so many things and, and you just created a web series called Minutia for just because of the pandemic? <laughs> kind of. I mean, I mean, yes, it has nothing to do with the pandemic. It's not about COVID, but it happens in confinement. And it's basically this guy, this neurotic guy who's having therapy sessions with the worst therapist on the planet. <laughs> And uh, so I get to work with actors on Zoom like this, uh, created this character who, oh, cool. poor guy, he just always loses. <laughs> and, we're stuck um, in this box, right? We're stuck in like... Right, right, we're stuck there. But I'm able to like work with Andrea Barber who plays Kimmy Gibbler in Fuller House and she's kind of like a douchey agent, so nothing like Kimmy Gibbler. <laughs> and, um, you know, and same with Sony Nicole Bringas, who plays my daughter on Fuller House. On Minouche, she plays my uh, niece, who's like an alcohol drinking, you know, wild teenager who is completely different from Fuller House, too. So it's basically a way for me to play with, um, you know, these amazing actors that I know and that I know that they can do so much. Yeah. Uh, and also, yeah, just put a content every week. Every week it's um, 5 p.m. Miami, New York time, 2 p.m. LA time, every Thursday. There you go. Uh, at that time, uh, it's a new episode. So it gives me the chance to write something new every week. Whatever's in my mind, that's what the episode is about. Okay, uh, how do we find it? Where is it? It's on my uh, official YouTube page, Juan Pablo Di Pache, and it's okay. called Minutiae or Minutiae. Yeah. It's the Latin yeah. word for minutia little stuff little yeah because <laughs> none of it is important that's, that's that's the thing it's like things that we think in our mind are so important but actually they're not yeah all right so one final thing i want to ask you i mean, you, I mean your your fans love you they adore you they follow you no matter what you do so you're a great success and that is fantastic so you grew up in buenos aires uh your parents live in madrid and you have an italian I mean, di pace. I mean, come on. Yeah, so, so you, passport. Eat, you, you eat steak with spaghetti. I mean, how does that? How does that cultural blend work? I, I did at one point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember when we were, when we went to my grandmother's house. Grandmother from Italy, who arrived in Argentina in the in the fifties. Sundays would be first, you know, a, a starter, pasta, but not a starter dish, like a starter dish yeah. of you know lasagna or pasta or gnocchi. Oh wow! And then the second dish would be meat. <laughs> So the by the end, blend. we're all rolling out of there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Juan Pablo, it's been a pleasure talking with you. What a, what a, what a delight. Uh, of course, he plays Fernando on Fuller House. It's on Netflix. Uh, you know, everyone is raving about your role. And of course, Fuller House, the fans of Full House just love, love, love this show. It's great to have you with us. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure talking to you. I hope we can do it in the studio very soon. Please, let's do that. All right, Juan Pablo, thanks so much. Right. Have a great time. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.